Hello and welcome to this video dialogue. You all know my videos are short and I strive to pack it with a lot of information. This is a new format I'm trying out with an awesome first guest, Wendy Keen. Wendy and I had a conversation earlier and I've created a visual depiction of that content to go with our chat. Today, we're going to talk about how to successfully execute your business strategy. And who better to talk about this topic than the person who has written a book on it, my dear friend for over 15 years, Wendy Keen. She's a queen of business architecture and probably doesn't need an introduction, but I'll ask her to say a few words about herself anyway. Wendy, welcome to the video podcast. So delighted to have you here. Please tell my audience a little bit about yourself. Thank you so much, Raj. I am delighted and honored to be your first guest on the show and to collaborate with you on such an important topic. So I work with organizations around the world to build their capacity for end-to-end -end strategy execution. And that includes Fortune 500 and global enterprises, governments, nonprofit organizations, and startups. I am a co-founder of the Business Architecture Guild, a fellow with the Institute for Digital Transformation, an author of the book Strategy to Reality, and co-author of the Execution Challenge. Wow, I didn't know all that either. Thanks for sharing, Wendy. Now, I've read statistics that more than 80% of strategies fail in the execution phase and don't achieve their desired results. Obviously, these failed strategies might be missing something big. Can you give us an idea of what that might be and why? Absolutely. First, imagine your organization possessing a magic power, a power that could transform your strategic vision into concrete results. But this isn't just wishful thinking. It is a critical business capability that is as vital as any other function within an organization. This capability enables an organization to translate grand ideas into impactful execution at the speed of business and coordinated across organizational structures, products, and geographies. As you mentioned, Raj, organizations worldwide struggle greatly with the execution of strategy. The challenge is, of course, magnified in today's rapidly evolving digital landscape. Execution is the engine that drives change and innovation creating the ability to continually sense and respond to the business environment and to strategic opportunities. Yet, we often find ourselves in a constant battle to align our strategic intents with our executional capabilities and portfolio of work. So why is strategy execution so daunting? What is missing? as you asked. It boils down to three key factors. The first is a fragmented approach. Organizations often treat the journey from strategy to execution as a series of disconnected steps rather than a unified process that brings teams together with transparency from end to end and accountability for the business outcomes delivered. The second key factor we'll call lost in translation. There's a big leap from the broad strategies to the specific actions required to achieve them. The challenge is that most organizations translate strategy in silos, delivering laundry lists of initiatives and solutions that collectively can lead to complexity, duplication, fragmented experiences, and a loss of organizational agility. Lastly, there is an educational gap. 
A recent study of graduate business schools highlighted that there is a lack of emphasis on teaching future business leaders the art and science of how to execute strategy, which is a critical skill for organizational success. It seems like the disconnect between strategy and execution is a persistent issue that weakens the potential of many organizations. So how do we bridge this gap? That is the key question. Bridging this gap requires a fundamental shift in how we perceive and how we enact strategic change. It's not about delivering isolated initiatives, but rather formulating a cohesive response to strategy. And that demands a comprehensive understanding of an organization. Here's how we can address this pivotal challenge. It starts with the building blocks of strategy execution. Strategy builds upon capabilities. Capabilities help an organization focus their resources on the things that will help them win and deliver on their value proposition for customers. The journey from strategy to reality then begins with a thorough assessment of our current capabilities. To clarify, these are not the broad competencies outlined in strategic documents, but rather the granular operational capabilities that determine our ability to act. For example, a capability might be the proficiency of our customer service team in handling inquiries or the effectiveness of our IT infrastructure in supporting new digital services. These foundational elements must be carefully developed and aligned with the strategic vision to ensure they contribute to the desired outcomes. In addition, every strategic decision has a cascade of effects throughout an organization. To understand this impact, we must map out our value streams and identify how changes in one area will ripple through to the others. This means going beyond the traditional silos of business units or products and looking at an organization as a living ecosystem where each component interacts with the others in complex but predictable ways. This understanding allows us to anticipate challenges, align our resources effectively, and define collaborative initiatives. Coordination, though, is the golden thread that ties together strategy and execution. This thread begins with the strategy itself, weaves through our capabilities, and connects to each initiative. It ensures that every action we take is purposeful and directly contributes to our overarching goals. In practice, this means developing a clear line of sight from the boardroom to the front lines, ensuring that strategic intent is translated into operational directives without any loss of clarity or purpose. Defining the strategy and portfolio of work is just the beginning though. In a world where change is the only constant, organizations must become adept at responding to shifts with agility and foresight. This requires a mechanism for continual response, much like a living organism's reflex to its environment. Strategy and execution become intertwined, allowing an organization to pivot and adapt as circumstances evolve without losing sight of its long-term objectives. Ultimately, successfully bridging the gap between strategy and execution relies on the intentional design of an organization. This design does not happen by chance. It requires deliberate decisions about structure, processes, experiences, culture, and capabilities. The design of an organization should not only be fit for purpose today, 
but also allow for growth and evolution into the future. By taking this holistic view, we can transform the way we think about and implement strategy. We can create a seamless continuum from idea to action, ensuring that every part of an organization is synchronized towards the achievement of shared goals. That's a fantastic way in which you lay out the major challenges, Wendy. I'm sure we can deep dive into many of these topics, but perhaps those are for future videos. Brother, the question I have for you is, why is this important and why now? Embracing this approach streamlines strategy execution and it heads off many of the downstream challenges from ever occurring in the first place, such as creating duplicate solutions or inefficiencies. In addition, this is so important now because the pace of change due to technologies like AI and other global disruptions require organizations to be very adept at change. So this approach also turns strategy execution into a competitive advantage. It gives organizations the superpower of agility and resilience to adapt and thrive amidst change. Who wouldn't want that? A capability that gives an organization a competitive advantage. So what are the next steps that leaders can take as they move to execution? That's a great question. This is a journey that shifts our entire mindset around strategy execution. So we need to bring people together and just start making forward progress one step at a time. A good place to start is with some self-reflection. Evaluate your organization's current approach to strategy execution and identify where you have opportunities. Next, engage in dialogue. Initiate conversations with leaders and peers to discuss the art of the possible for strategy execution in your organization. Challenge the status quo. As you build understanding and buy-in, then focus on vision creation. Define an end-to-end -end strategy to execution process that encapsulates the enterprise view and find opportunities to put those ideas into action. By rethinking the way we convert strategic plans into actions, we can not only achieve our goals more efficiently, but also foster a culture of agility and innovation that propels our organizations into a successful future. Thank you so much, Wendy, for offering your thoughts on how leaders can realize and implement their strategies more effectively. I'm sure some of our audience would like to get in touch with you if they want to dig deeper or know more. How can they do that? Absolutely. People can contact me at strategyintoreality.com or on LinkedIn to continue this conversation. Thank you so much for having me on your show, Raj, and for all that you do to convey these powerful insights in such a compelling way to people all around the world. Thank you so much, Wendy, for being my first guest on a series that I hope to continue to deliver awesome ideas like this one. Thank you also to our fantastic audience. If you found this video useful, please give it a like and consider subscribing. For a one-page visual summary of this and all my future videos, head over to my website and sign up. Thanks for watching.